Okay, here is uh, just a quick overview of um, how my turbo system is set up. Um, yeah, so here um, you've got the, the uh, charge piping. This is post intercooler, obviously. Here is the mass airflow sensor connected to the Diablo Mafia. Mass airflow sensor, um, it's epoxied into um, the piping. Um, I used kind of like a stock uh, mass airflow sensor um, piece where the math actually attaches to. Kind of hacked it up and uh, carefully epoxied it on uh, with some pretty pretty strong stuff. Um, also, my blow-off valve uh, is, a, is a pretty similar story. Um, got a, let's see if it'll focus, got a little uh, bung, if you will, that I epoxied in there, and a clear tube going to um, a recirculating valve from an Audi. Um, just you know, dumping instead of recirculating. And back here you can kind of see the uh, the two spots on the uh, intake manifold um, that I that I employed for. This is the wire for the boost gauge. Uh, I think this one what used to be connected to the um, this cable, which was. Uh, from my understanding part of the uh, EGR system. Um, the EGR system itself is still there, but the where it was connected to the, uh, the header of the cat, um, in this case, I just uh, blocked it off, um, welded on a little piece, and then uh, tightened it down so there shouldn't be any leaks happening there. Uh, shouldn't. Um, Let's see, and then for the other side, I uh, just kind of disconnected the line that was connected here. Uh, that is for, that line is used now for the, uh, the blow-off valve. Um, yeah. Also, over here we have the PCV delete, if you will, the PCV valve that's stock. Um, see if you can kind of, can see where I deleted it. Yeah, right there. Uh, that is the new um, location, I guess, or the uh, the bypass, if you will, um, of the PCV valve. It just kind of hooks up through this tube and then dumps behind there. Um, let me think. Also, for the uh, intake, there was this pipe, this little hose right here. Uh, this was connected to either the PCV or the airbox or something like that. Anyways, um, this is into the intake manifold. So, uh, this is a little ghetto, a little janky, but I got a bolt that was pretty snug. I uh, stuck it in there and got a hose clamp around it to hopefully um, eliminate any uh, backing leaks or air leaks or whatever. Uh, here's the ugly header, um, ugly wrapped header, but it is wrapped. Um, and then you can't really see it too well, but past that is the adapter plate or adapter piece um, that hangs off the stock header um, and it adapts a uh, little um, piece of pretty robust steel uh, that connects to the turbo. The steel, um, this is wrapped as well, that little adapter piece. It's pretty thin, or not thin, um, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, it's pretty small. The inside diameter is pretty small, uh, but it's pretty similar to uh, the uh, diameter of the turbo inlet, so that's kind of um, my thought process on that. Also, the uh, steel place that I was getting the metal from didn't really have anything else, so that's what I went with. Oh yeah, here is my oil feed, pretty straightforward, oh, my oil feed, and the uh, right there into the turbo. This is a TD04L turbo off of a Subaru Forester. Um, also, I have my... Uh, this is also a water-cooled turbo, so I have the water feed tapped off of this line. You can kind of see um, adapted. Um, and uh, it is attached to that piece right there that is um, the OEM um, oil feed, or water feed, pardon. Um, uh, yeah, for the, the, the water feed. And the water return um, is it's kind of behind 
uh, the, the intake there, but similar deal. Um, and then that just continues on um, to the heater core. Oh yeah, and uh, here are my cheapy Chinese injectors that I'm questioning a little bit, but whatever. If they work, then they work. But if they don't, then they don't. I don't know. Um, here is my um, O2 sensor extender, so or extension, I should say. Basically, I just used a stock front O2 sensor and uh, soldered in some extension wires. Made sure to get them all correct, like orientation or like which one goes to where. Uh, the gauge of these wires is quite a bit bigger than the ones on um, the actual O2 sensor. So it goes from a pretty small wire to a pretty big wire, um, back to a pretty small wire. Here's the front of the car, just a little view of the intercooler. Okay, so as we come here underneath, uh, you can see where the uh, turbo is. Um, and you can see the uh, down pipe that I fabricated. This is where the front O2 sensor is uh, located at. So it's pretty close, um, right past the turbo, but since the uh, front, front O2 sensor is like right after the header stock, I figured it'd be an acceptable location. Um, as we move down, uh, this is where the wideband uh, sensor is. It kind of just kind of is wired away past there. Um, yeah, so here's the rest of the downpipe. Yes, it does neck down back to, um, or down to the stock um, flex pipe. Um, and I, I realize that's choking power and stuff, but uh, this was just kind of the easiest thing. I didn't really want to um, invest more time into fabricating one of those. Uh, but it'll, it'll come at a later date. It will happen. Um, here's the kind of the intake. Back O2 sensor isn't plugged in. Um, uh, oh yeah, here's the water return. You can kind of see a better look at it. Here's the oil return as well, right here. Um, and that returns along this line uh, to, let's see, and it's, that's tapped into the windage tray. Um, I did have the return plugged into the uh, a, a bung that I welded into the oil pan, but I changed my mind about that, and so that's just this is just a really huge, ugly plug that I made for it. Anyway, so like here's the turbo and stuff. It goes around the intercooler piping through the intercooler, Do -do 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 -do. and then it goes back up into the engine bay, um, and that's kind of where we started. So yeah, that's basically basically everything. Um, that's how my turbo system is set up. Pretty basic, maybe some questionable things in there. But, uh... But overall... Um, yeah, that's, that's what it is. And that'll get changed later.